All right, so yesterday I ended up completing the Damascus Ram 7. It was the assault rifle that ended up releasing with season one. Season two is right around the corner tomorrow. By the way, there was also the trailer that ended up coming out. It ended up showcasing like a uh, rust and scrapyard ish. I, I don't, I can't really tell if it's just scrapyard or if it's like scrapyard within a map, if it's like way bigger than that. I have no idea. I ended up unlocking the Ram 7 regardless because whenever they add the new weapons into the game, when you have Damascus, since they're new weapons, you have to do all those challenges still. So now, enter the Holger 26. It's an LMG, but you can make it like really lightweight. That's what I have right now, this variant. Uh, it actually has a conversion kit where it actually takes the drum off and puts a regular magazine, a regular sized magazine, I should say, uh, on the bottom of it to make it a bit more uh, assault rifle, like more like a uh, the G36C from COD4 or G36C, whatever you want to call it. Since it's double XP, double weapon XP, I can't give this shit up. I have to take advantage of this shit while it's here because once the new season starts, I'm pretty sure that's when it's going to go away. Given they give a shit ton of double XP all the time for all of these weapons and shit. There's 10 times more double XP, but 10 times less progression to make in this game. It's very, very strange. I, I don't... Seems like most LMGs in the game have a vertical recoil, and this uh, gilded version of the gun actually comes with a lot of these attachments, like a Merc 4 grip, the 30 round magazine stipple, laser, fully loaded. Like, I get basically everything that I need right here. I would build it a little bit differently. I'd probably be using, like, a Ranger or Operator instead of this, but... but yeah, by the way, man, if you guys see anybody in a video that I'm, like, talking shit with and they're talking back to me, it's just bullshit. Everybody's just bullshitting. It's a video game, okay? Nobody needs to fucking take this shit as seriously as they do. Don't go out of your fucking way to attack people because you feel like you need to defend me. I'm good. I'm only saying it like that because I've seen people trying to harass, you know, people before. I've had to stop so many people before uh, from harassing people. I had to take down a Friday the 13th video like because I ended up getting team killed by a dude and I wasn't lying to him, but he didn't know if I was lying or not, so he killed me. The dude's just playing the game and sure, yeah, he's an asshole, but people went out of their way to go and harass this guy. It's not cool. One thing you know, get the shit talk to you like in-game, it's whatever. That's our fight. Don't get involved. All right, computer, relax. Please don't disconnect things. I live! I'm staying on. Stay on, stay on. We're ahead! We won! I won, boy! Fuck you, Fabulous Jared, you a bitch ass nigga. See, now people are trying to goad me in so they can get into a video at this point. They want me to talk shit to them. And to a degree, of course, I invite all of it, but yeah, you don't need to try that hard. What happens if I take this 30 round mag off, but then put the ultralight on? I wonder how the ADS speed will be on that. How much bigger is the clip between the default Holger clip and the 30 round? If it's at least 50 rounds, this shit might be worse. It's a little slow. I got these Skittles, the wild berry and tropical. Ooh, there's a hundred rounds. I feel like I'm losing a lot more fights with this thing. I, I feel weaker. See, that's much better. I, I don't know what happened, but that bullet velocity shit was fucking me up. The time to kill is much higher. It doesn't even say anything about a damage range, but that bullet velocity is no fucking joke. I spawn! Get off my dick! Dude, reload the damn bag! I don't know how many times I gotta put the fucking mag in! It's reloading! All right, we leveled it all the way up to 25 in like one game, so. <laughs> the double XP is gross. Now, the one really gross thing about the new uh, weapons that they add to the game, they always make them like this ridiculous level, like um, 64. Given, I mean, that's probably one of the lowest actually out of here. It is actually the lowest here out of all of them. The last thing that you unlock for the Holger is uh, at level 57. So I'm gonna assume either level 57, 
uh, or 58 is going to be its max level. So looking in the trailer, you actually end up seeing a dude at the top of Rust with a sniper rifle. But you can't really tell what it is. Some people are thinking it's a brand new sniper rifle. Some people are saying it's just a Dragonaut variant. We haven't heard about any new sniper rifle whatsoever. So... I'm literally just spawning in front of people. What am I supposed to do? I got killed right there around the corner and then I spawned in front of the man. I honestly find it absurdly hard to camp on this map. It's not necessarily difficult to get kill streaks going, but to stay on a kill streak, yeah, it's a little difficult. I just need to get crouching hip fired. if uh there's gonna be any buffs and big changes with this whole update too not just like content related shit like i'm wondering if they're gonna do anything to snipe rifles or mp5 m4 i don't know just like the balance of the game be changed or whatever i don't know that always makes it fun i mean when they buff the m13 it actually made it feel really good so i'm wondering if they're just gonna like you know bring some other guns up and make them fun to actually use make a video on it you know Why would this man spawn in front of me? No. What? what? Why are they? I mean, the hip fire on this isn't bad. It's just like I'm trying to hip fire people that, you know. Dude, this reload speed actually isn't even bad when you look at it. For 100 rounds, that reload ain't bad at all. I feel like half the time people are camping by accident because they just can't even move. I just spawned into a rocket and then I got noob too! I got rocket launched as I spawned into the kill cam and then got noob tube directly in the same kill cam. And I get it, they're like, oh, just don't force respawn then. You won't die as much. It's like... Well, I mean, the trade-off is better. You know, if, even if I do die more, I still get more kills. Went up a bunch of levels, level 33 now. Yeah, this is fast. It's like a fast, it's a very, very fast thing, especially with the double XP and shit. Only 45 long shots. The LMGs actually was like a, a class that I was able to, I could deal with it. It wasn't that bad. Total kills ain't crazy high. I think for the assault rifles, it's like 800 something. So whenever a new AR comes out, the ARs are definitely the highest level uh, things in the game. So that's the most work that you have to do. I did the assault rifles last or very, very close to last, and it was the slowest, most long, most grueling process since the first time I tried to shave my own ass. 100 round drum, though, by default, yeah, I, I, I like this thing. This thing is, this is actually such a good game. There's just so much random shit. This game really is Modern Warfare. It is the epitome of Modern Warfare. Mechanically speaking, the game feels fucking ridiculous. It just has no business feeling this good, but it does. This shit hits better than a grilled cheese in the winter. I'm getting killed by ass. I mean, if I have to die anyway, I appreciate that. I'm probably gonna spend the rest of the night doing this. Uh, I'm not entirely sure about how long this video actually is or not, but just looking at those things, I really hope they don't fucking gut the UMP. I really hope that Rust is unchanged. From the looks of it, there was this uh, little truck that had like this orange container, or maybe it was a white container. I think it was orange. It was like a fuel thing on like a flatbed. Uh, that thing is now turned into a big um, box. That's the only difference I've seen. It's like a big crate, just like there is here on um, on shipment and shit. Other than that, I haven't seen anything that actually really looks that different. It just looks like it's a repolished rust. Even from the, like the little previews and stuff of the camera sweeping around and shit, it looks like it's pretty close to the original. They're probably gonna have little differences here and there, kind of like how they did with Vegas. I hope they don't change it as much as they did Crash, but Vacant, I think, plays very, very well for what they've done with it. I think they did a good job on that remake, personally. I know people have, like, this weird, crazy issue with doors. I don't hate doors that much. I think they're all right. It's, it's whatever. I don't really care. I know that they're highly abusable, but in public matches, I don't really see that happen a lot. So, I, I don't know. Maybe competitively or people that don't like doors or whatever, maybe they could add an option to turn off doors or something. I don't know. After about three or four changes to the shipment spawns, they still haven't figured this out. Maybe by the time season two rolls around, they'll have another batch here, but I don't really think that it's going to change much. I think this is just how their shipment is going to play, and we will all remember the most broken fucking map in COD history. Now, there's a a lot of ways you could have ruined shipment, but I didn't think of it this way. Whoa. I almost killed the guy three- wait, he, I killed him three times in the same kill feed. That's not okay. I mean, the dude's name is okay, but it, that's not okay. 
Dude, no, don't do this. Why would you do that? Why would you? No, 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 no. This is a new board. Why would you do that? I didn't slam this or anything. Why would you do that? I can't wait until I get to go and do the long shots for this thing. It's gonna be pretty easy to be honest. This thing's range seems pretty good. I, with all this this crazy magazine and all the attachments and shit, this thing will actually be pretty good. The fact that I inhabit the same planet as these people is just, I love being alive. I love planet Earth. This place is fucking insane. Yes, fucking Imagine only getting 23 kills in the game. Go, go, go oh shit, cousin. 23 and 41. God damn, you fucking suck. I joined in and dropped double your fucking, cousin, double your fucking fuck kills. Boy. I'm just gonna stop now before I really tilt, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna continue doing this just brainlessly until season two comes out probably then i guess we'll just work on getting those ones damascus i i don't think there's going to be a new sniper rifle or anything probably some new variants and shit new crazy stuff in the store and the battle pass and all that shit but past that i don't think there's going to be a whole new sniper rifle maybe throughout the season who knows doubt it but we can hope